Hello, it's Maggie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about illustration style, that topic that's always on your mind when you first start your illustration journey. Oh, and by the way, this is my second video on YouTube, so it's all still brand new to me. But please do hit the subscribe button if you want to hear more from me. That would really mean a lot. So I'm a person who struggles to both find a style and most importantly to commit to it. So today I want to share with you some things that I have found helpful. So first things first, what is your goal? Knowing what you want to do with your illustration can sometimes help you approach the style topic in a more rationalized way. And you also might want to reverse technique it and think about the things that you don't want to be first. That will help you figure out what you're not and you might have a slightly clearer picture of the things that you don't relate to. Then think about what you do want to do and do your research. Is it children's books? Is it food illustration, web comics? If it's children's book, then go to bookstore and have a look at the top illustrators to get an idea of what's out there. If it's web comics, then have a look at the, at a few web comics and see how often they post. If you want to do web comics and aspire to post twice a week, your style would need to be allowing for this. And then you probably want a simpler style that can be quick to draw in. So in other words, if you know what you want to do, think about what kind of style serves best the type of illustration that you want to do. The next step after having soul searched for a bit is to gather pictures that inspire you. Make a mood board of all the things that inspire you, artists, themes, colors. Make a file and try to understand what techniques appeal to you, what are the color palettes that intrigue you and write a list. A very popular advice that I have come across a lot um, is to spend some time copying the work of the artists that you love for practice. Um, now that should be for your eyes only because it's for practice so please don't post any of it on your social media as yours. But trying to replicate work will help you look closer and identify the little details that um, you like about the style. It's good to have a lot of artists to adopt little features from so that your style looks like yours and in the end it doesn't look like a copy of just one artist's style. Um, so experimentation is a big part of it. Do experiment out of your comfort zone, but also do keep in mind that for any style to work well with you, you do need to feel comfortable drawing in it. As if it's too hard or too time consuming um, for you to be productive and regular with your work, then perhaps it's not the style that will allow you to be consistent. At the same time, don't forget that it's always very important to know the basics to prevent your art from looking stiff. So if you want to draw people, it's vital that you practice anatomy, facial expressions, face features. I would absolutely recommend checking out Proko for anatomy videos as I always find his videos very helpful. And it's also very important to study just the basics in general, like how lights work, how colors work, etc. I love watching Kendall Hilegas about that and she also has classes on Skillshare. And then depending on what media you use to produce your work with, you uh, should always cover the basics there too. If it's watercolor, practice watercolor techniques. If it's digital, spend some time learning the basics of the program that you're going to use. And last but not least, I want to talk about that uniqueness that makes people recognize your work without having to read your name. From a marketing perspective, it's great to have a style because people recognize you and your fans will know what to expect from you and you will be able to relate and love your work. But it's not easy for everyone to find their style, let alone commit to one. And I believe that big scary decisions sometimes make us freeze and so we don't take any decision at all. Um, so style is a set of decisions, it's a set of rules that you create and if you stick with them then that's your style. But keep in mind that it doesn't have to be forever. So for those of you who find it difficult to commit to one style, I would definitely recommend trying out a style for a month. This is definitely less scary as it's a smaller decision and a smaller commitment, but a month is still a long time for you to try and see what works and what doesn't. So my style is definitely a work in progress and if yours is too, then I definitely understand your struggle. The struggle is real. <laughs> um, and that's all from me for today. If you like this video, then please don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in the next one.